bigger stone. And I thought about the hard work from starting out working here with the purity. And I thought about how in order to get the Puritans in that day and time, the September, if I make no mistake, Mother Cotton, at that particular time after Mother Gary was serving as jurisdictional purity lady, they had a field day, I guess, and but that night they always had a banquet for the purity department. And I can remember in those early days when she drove the van with the Puritans in it. Happy with that. But in doing that, the Lord just decided that She was committed, dedicated, and denied herself to get the job done for God. Not only did she work hard in that phase, but the Lord moved her supervisor at that time, Mother Beulah Hatchett, moved her up to the executive hospitality, if I'm correct. And she had a lot of responsibilities there in doing things. She gave it her best. You hear about the scholarship banquet that we have now. But that came out of the purity banquet that Mother Stone, when she was serving as jurisdictional purity lady, early days. That banquet was for the Puritans in order that the Puritan Department could give them an encouragement as they went along the way. And I guess the Lord saw fit When Mother Blade was, became our supervisor, one of the first things that she did, she wrote Mother Drone a letter and asked her if she would serve as her hospitality lady for the district. After a while, Mother Drone finally said yes. Mother Stone said, don't worry about it. Mother, you just be there. We'll take care of it. Because she had served and worked with the, the hospitality in the jurisdictional and the district. Mother Stone, along with the committee that worked with her not only made the jurisdictional leaders when they arrived at the meetings in their rooms they would have baskets of fruit or water or 
whatever they needed, refreshments. Not only did she do that, but when the national church came in, she headed up that team with her committee and served them. But then one day the Lord saw fit to change our bishop, the late Bishop Milton L. Hall, Sr. And through the process, our current bishop, Mark H. Blaine, began to look around and see, Lord, which way must I go? And he looked out, saw one that had labored throughout the jurisdiction for years after they decided to move the purity banquet away from the purity department and make it a jurisdictional scholarship banquet. Mother worked hard, traveled over this state in order to see to it. She worked and didn't ask for anything, but just worked. And everything that she undertook to accomplish, she endeavored to make sure that it was the best. And today, the Lord has blessed her. And I think one of the things, reason the Lord brought it back to her, I began to, you know, you get memories. Some of y'all don't get memories, I guess. But you begin to remember. God brings memories back to you. There were many Many a times, mother didn't agree with me, but she wouldn't hesitate to call me to the side and we would chat. But she always honored me as her pastor. She always honored me as her pastor. So what are you saying? Why? Why? We can't show the honor to one of our own that we like to show to somebody else if we decide to bring them in and pay them a whole lot of money. I'm saying that because mother served and the Lord blessed her to enjoy now.